Welcome back to the video series on linked list and today we are discussing the third practice problem of this series. Uh, we are discussing lead code problem 24, swap nodes in pairs. The problem statement states that uh, given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. You must solve the problem without modifying the values in the list node. That is, only nodes themselves may be changed. So this problem is not difficult as such, but I wanted to discuss a problem that can be solved recursively. So this might be helpful in building the intuition for solving linked list based problems recursively. The important thing to note here is that we do not have to swap the values, but swap the position of the complete node itself. So what this means is that like if we have a node A with value X and a node B with value Y, then after swapping, the situation should not be like this. Like we have a node A which stores value Y pointing to node B which has value X. So they do not want this to be the case. What we need to do is that so node B with value Y should start pointing to the node A with value X. So this is what we want. So let's discuss the approach for this problem. In recursion, our helper intuition always comes in handy. So which is we need to just solve the current problem at hand and remaining problem just delegate it to the recursive function. So we can assume that recursive function solves the remaining problem. And if we can solve the current problem, our solution will be complete. Apart from this, we just need to think of the base case. So what we are trying to say here is that let's assume that we have a linked list that looks something like this and so on so and we are currently at this node so what we are trying to say is that we need to just solve the current sub problem and delegate the rest of the problem to the recursive function so what we are trying to say here is that we will swap these two nodes and we will blindly delegate the rest of the problem to the recursive function so we will ask the recursive function to solve the problem for the remaining linked list and we will do our task of swapping these two nodes and we know that this intuition always works in recursion so we can say that this will solve our problem and the base case here simply can be is that we are currently at the last node or we are standing at null so there's only one node left in the list or there are no nodes left in the list so when we are in this situation and we are standing at the last node so there's only one node left in the list so obviously this node cannot be swapped with any node so this is the base case we should return from here second situation is that we have actually reached null so when when we are start standing here there are no more pairs that needs to be swapped so in this as well we'll just re return uh, from the base case so let's quickly go through the code for the problem once so as we discuss that uh, when we are standing at a node what we need to do is that we need to swap the two nodes and delegate the rest of the task to the recursive function so what we have done is that we have created two pointers current and current child so in current we have stored the location of the current node and in current child we have stored the location of the neighbor node because these two nodes needs to be swapped with each other and what we have done we have recursively called this swap pairs method on the rest of the linked list so which is next of next so the next of next basically refers to this node and at this step what we are doing is that we are swapping the current and the current child so we have swapped these two nodes and the remaining swapped linked list will be returned by this uh, uh, recursive method so that we have stored in the swap and how do we actually swap so this is the current child and this is current so to bring current child before current uh, current child should start pointing to current so that's what we have done in this statement one current child starts pointing to current and current should come here and it should start pointing to the remaining swapped list so that's what we have done in the second step current now starts pointing to the remaining swapped list and from here now the head of this complete linked list is current child so we have written current child from here and 
again the base case as we already discussed the base case is that when we are standing at the last node or we are standing at null that is we have traversed the entire linked list so in both the cases we will return head directly from there because there are no more nodes left to be swapped so the time complexity for this solution is going to be big O of n by 2 or which is same as big O of n where n is the size of the linked list because we are actually traversing till the end of the linked list and space complexity is constant because apart from the function stack space uh, and temporary pointers which are again constant space we are not using any additional space so the space complexity is big O of 1. So I hope that you've understood the intuition behind recursion and you also understood the solution for this problem. And in case you have any doubts, please feel free to post them in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.